Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be taking a look at one of the rangers new melee weapon called the Rampager. And it seems that our focus for reviews this week is going to be mostly about melee weapons. Considering that melee in this game is often considered as a second hand or third hand component, this one might actually change your mind. We might start seeing more rangers with melee focused builds in the future instead of just guns and abilities. First things first, this weapon is a detonator so this changes the overall outlook of the ranger. It will make melee focus builds even stronger than they were before. So what are the intrinsic perks other than the hard impact damage? This weapon makes it so that hitting an enemy grants 10% increased damage for 10 seconds and this bonus will stack up to 5 times if you hit enemies consecutively. This also means that enemies don't have to die for you to get that damage buff. My current role here is a legendary version with 225% weapon damage bonus. So I figured if I can combine this with a primer grenade, bloodlust component, combos and melee sigils, I should be getting some large numbers and I have to say I was not disappointed. There were moments when I was seeing large numbers in the area of 100k and upwards. I'm talking about 100,000 damage. Considering that the base damage of this weapon itself is 4,478, factoring in all these bonuses and all these combos makes it powerful than a lot of guns in the game right now. And because the damage boost is likely going to kill enemies, you can easily proc that bloodlust effect and if you have that melee sigil or combo sigil, you're going to start melting enemies like crazy. Ladies and gents, we are reaching damage values that were impossible before this update and I will encourage everyone to try this out if you ever got one. I got mine from the Cataclysm vendor and I have been pouncing on everything ever since. I just can't stop. It's just so addicting. I hopped into mission and just kept on going. That is just how interesting it is. And if you have an enemy that is just flying around or in the air, you can melt their shields immediately. That is just how powerful this thing is. With that said though, let me know what you guys think about this. Have you gotten this yet? And if so, what are the roles that you have on it? As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.